Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we will be finding the partial fraction for this given example. So the next thing we want to make sure that the degree in the numerator is indeed less than the degree in the denominator. You can see the degree in the numerator is 2 and the degree in the denominator is 3. And the next thing I want to make sure that the, the quadratic part in the denominator is irreducible. That means we cannot factor it anymore. So let's go ahead and set this rational expression for partial fraction. So we can write a over x minus 2, which is our linear part, plus bx plus c over our quadratic part is x squared plus 3x plus 1. So the next thing what we want to do is we want to get rid of these fractions. So we're going to multiply by this this quantity whatever this one on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply x minus 2 times x squared plus 3x plus 1 across the board we're going to multiply x minus 2 times x squared plus 3x plus 1 and x minus 2 times x squared plus 3x plus 1 so what happens so this thing is gone with this one this is gone with this one this is gone with this one this is gone with this one so we ended up with what x squared plus 5x minus 3 equal to a times x squared plus 3x plus 1 plus bx plus c times x minus 2. So this is the equation that we got we're going to call this equation number one just to make sure the next thing what we want to do is we want to find the value of a b and c so now we will be using a simple trick over here just i want you to just look at at the bottom at the denominator we have a linear factor is x minus two so what i did is i set that linear factor equal to zero so we got x equal to two so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say at x equal to 2, I want you to just plug it in x equal to 2 in this equation number 1. So that's going to give you 2 square plus 5 times 2 minus 3 equals to x is 2 square 3 times 2 plus 1 plus you see right now this is going to be what this is 2 minus 2 is 0 so that means this whole thing becomes simply 0 so if we simplify on the left hand side that's going to give us 11 equal to we got 11 a so that gives us what a equals to 1 our a value in the next step uh, we need to find B and C. The only way we can find B and C is to use this method. We call it equate the coefficient or simply compare the coefficient. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do this thing. The very first thing is I want to make sure we just simply distribute this one over here. So this is when you multiply A times this thing that's going to give you AX squared plus 3AX plus 1a and when you multiply bx with that thing that's going to be bx square minus 2bx plus cx minus 2c isn't it now let's go ahead and combine x square together okay so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to just put down this is our x square part and this is our x square so what happens i'm going to write down a plus b time x square isn't it now i want you to look at x part 
and x part and x part so i'm going to write down plus 3a minus 2b plus c times x and finally i'm going to write down the constants are what a minus 2c and on the left hand side we got 1x square plus 5x minus 3. So now we're going to compare or equate the coefficients on both sides. Let's look at the coefficient of x square on both sides. On the left hand side we have 1 equal to on this right hand side is a plus b or x square. For x is going to be what? x is going to be look at 5 and here we have a 3a minus 2b plus c. So I'm going to put down 5 equal to 3a minus 2b plus c and as far as the constants are concerned we have a minus 3 equal to a minus 2c. Now we got these three equations and we already know that a equals to 1 in the previous step. So look at this the, this equation on the top over here. That gives you if a plus b equal to this one, so that means 1 equal to a is 1, just plug it in plus b. So that means b turns out to be 0. And to find c, I want you to look at this, the third equation. I want to just put it down like this thing. I'm going to put down negative 3 and a, we know a equals to 1 minus 2c. That gives you how much? Negative 4 equal to negative 2c. That means c turns out to be 2. Thus finally we what we got a equals to 1, b equal to 0, c equal to 2 and this is where we're going to just plug it in wherever you see a I just replace it by 1, b is 0 and c is what 2 so simply what we got is 1 over x minus 2 plus this thing is 0 plus 2 simply 2 over x square plus 3x plus 1 and that is our complete partial fraction decomposition and that is our answer thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos